if we just sit back with our arms folded like this, oh well, you know, condemn me so bad, uh, you know, thinking, well, I could have done something, you know. Yeah. But we got to rise up and say enough is enough because you know what? As soon as they get this voted in or try to vote this in, well, it'll be something else next. Bars on every corner. We need this. We need sure. gambling. We need, you know. Well, that's that's exactly what it is, Jonathan. Mm. When you just hit, hit it because, and you folks, you can see it already. Yeah. You know, in Corbin, they can see it. Here they, they got in the drink. And, and and I don't know what you think you gained out of that, you mm -hmm. know. I mean, I, I, I can eat good at, at Cracker Barrel and, and they don't serve liquor. Exactly. Or, or down here, we, we eat at the Sunnies. Uh -huh. I have no problem. Oh, well, there's a lot right. of good restaurants that makes it really good. Right. And, and, and don't have to have liquor. And you know, me being a minister and you being a minister, it would even condemn me to walk in a place and see people drinking alcohol. I don't want to be around it. No. If I can avoid it, I do. Right. I won't, I won't eat there. Uh, and, and that's <laughs> the issue, you know, uh, that, that, if the good people of the whole area were to take a stand like that mm. and say, you know what, mm -hmm. uh, you're not going to get as many people as you think out of this Christian community go to your place. Oh, and because. you know, this might anger a few people, Brother Billy, but you know what? Uh, it angers me to see innocent kids being run over by a drunken driver. Mm -hmm. It angers me, like you was talking about the innocent mother standing in her own yard and right. some drunk driver leave the road and her yes. life is gone just like that. It angers me to see some of my family that are so addicted to, to alcohol and drugs that they've overdosed and took their life, uh, you know, mixed drugs with alcohol and their heart just stopped. That angers me. And we need to do something about it as God's people. Well, it, it angers God too, John. Amen. God is against this. Oh, yes. I mean, you, you know, you all folks can, some of you all, some of you all church members, you know, and some of you all are saying this is, this is what we need. Mm -hmm. but I'll tell you, if you were to just ask God about it, You'll find out, according to the scripture and the spirit that lives in you, that God's again it, right. and, and he, he, he opposes it. Mm. And if God, if, if anything God hates, we ought to hate. Right. And if God loves it, we ought to love it. Right. However God stands. Amen. That's how I'm going to go, because I know he's right. I'm like you too, brother. We're old-fashioned, you know, and they call us old-fashioned. I'll get with the new times. Brother, we don't need to get with the new times. If it's sin, it's sin. If it's wrong, it's wrong. They can call it social drinking, just a, a snippet every once in a while. It's still wrong in the eyes of God. You know, he said, abstain from this. Stay away from it. And that's what we need to do. That's right. I, I, I hope in, that we keep on doing uh, Old Barney Five. <laughs> I used to watch Barney, and yeah. uh, not a lot of TV on it, but but Barney had a had a good theology one time. He he, I know he was humorous, and I loved right. him, loved him. But yeah. Barney, it, here's his theology when it got nip it, nip it, <laughs> it into. But I said, That's you right. know that is good theology. That's right. right there. That's what we need. Don't to let do. it get started because you know you've said, and I guess others have said, once you open the door. Mm -hmm. You know, my mommy t used to tell us boys that growing up, said, I give you boys an inch and you take a mile. Right, right. Well, you give the devil an inch and he'll become a ruler. Exactly, exactly. And, and Brother Billy, it just seems to me like anything good, they're trying to outlaw it. You know, like prayer in public. Uh, the Ten Commandments off the walls, such a big discussion. Get those commandments off the courthouse walls, off the school walls. But they're bringing in alcohol and everything else. We're just switched around, brother. It, it just don't make sense mm -mm. to try to hurt people. It's like, I know in these dark, uh, dark communities I go in, right. I, I wished and pray that those people I meet have read the Ten Commandments. Exactly, exactly. And, and they don't going to steal, and they're not going to kill. Mm. Well, I might be a victim out there, you know, if they <laughs> haven't. And someday some of them people that's taken them away, right. they're going to meet some people that's not been exposed to that, mm. has no conscience about it. Mm. It's not going to be good for them. But I tell you what, we have the opportunity to make a difference. By you getting out to the polls and you voting no against these alcohol sales, and, you know, getting people involved and saying, get your church involved. Pastors, tell your church, hey, there's a vote coming up. We need to do something about it. Brother Jonathan, I don't know how much time we got, but could I tell you the answer to the problem? Right, go ahead. Now, I can, I can tell everybody what will take care of this problem. Mm -hmm. And that's nothing more than this area and my area, your area, 
having an old-fashioned revival. Oh, yeah. Just having a time where God settled in. Oh, praise. And where God, the good Holy Ghost, touched people's hearts. Because when God touches people, they're going to become pure and they're going to become holy, right. and they're going to do things which is right to everyone around them mm -hmm. with regards to the damage they'll do. They'll do right, and they'll love them. And, and what many of you need, you used to wasn't this way. You need to get closer walk with God. Mm -hmm. Old-fashioned revival. And, and if there's a pastor watching here in this area, I'll tell you what would be a good thing uh, in March, if the vote's going to be coming up, before March, we ought, every one of us ought to, uh, in that area, ought to sit and have a revival, and ought to have some confidence prayer meetings and, and some call prayer meetings and get God in yeah. on this because God Praise can defeat God. the devil oh. and God can bring victory and if revival come. You know when Billy Sunday came into town, they shut the saloons down. <laughs> I mean that, hey, that, that drinking crowd tried to bribe him mm. and keep him from coming oh. because the power of God would come. Thank you, Lord. And the gospel would go out and people would get saved right. and changed and converted. 